हेलो फ्रेंड्स ड्रिलिंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट ऑपरेशन इन सीएनसी मशीनिंग डिफरेंट कैन साइकल्स और फिक्स साइकल्स आर यूज फॉर मेकिंग सीएनसी प्रोग्राम फॉर ड्रिलिंग कैन साइकल्स मींस कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ मशीन मूवमेंट्स दैट परफॉर्म सर्टेन ऑपरेशंस सच एज ड्रिलिंग टैपिंग बोरिंग and some milling operations in this video we will learn drilling cycle g81 for fanuc control om i am nm chakradev i have more than 25 years of experience in cnc machining cnc part programming and machine operations friends now we'll learn the parameters of drilling cycle g81 drilling cycle g81 is single line program g81 is code for drilling cycle x and y represents the center point of hole or center point of drill in x and y axis z represents the depth of hole r defines the retract level or safety distance and f defines the feed which is generally given in mm per minute so these are the parameters of drilling cycle g81 by using drilling cycle or any can cycle we reduce the length of program now we'll see the functioning of drilling cycle g81 this is the sketch which explains the working of drilling cycle g81 in drilling cycle g81 tool first comes to the center point of hole in x and y axis rapidly so first tool comes rapidly to the center point of hole in x and y axis but away from the job so this is initial position of drill or tool so this is called as initial level or G98, G98 is code for initial level. Then drill moves from this initial level to safety level, say three or four mm away from the job face. So this is G99 or retract level. From this point to the depth of drill, drill will move with program feed. and after completion of drilling operation drill will move rapidly to the retract level or initial level depending on which code is given in the program so if we make manual part program there are four operations first drill will come to center point of hole in x and y axis but sufficient distance away from the job face then drill will come to the safety level or r level from this point to the depth of hole drill will go with program feed after completion of drilling operation drill will move rapidly to the retract level or initial level so this is the functioning of drilling cycle in drilling cycle only one line is used for all these four operations so by using drilling cycle 81 or by using any can cycle we reduce the length of program so it becomes easy to understand the program also we can edit the program for new jobs that's why various 
can cycles are used in CNC part programming. Now we'll make one CNC program using cycle G81. This is programming example for use of cycle 81 for for loop control. This is component drawing. This is plate of 100 mm by 100 mm with thickness of 8 mm. Here main operation is drilling of four holes of 10 dia. This is center point. This is the zero point of the program in X and Y axis. And this is zero point of the program in Z axis. So we'll now make CNC program for dealing of these four holes using cycle 81. First, we should give the program number. O is code for program number in Fano control. We, we can give maximum four digits as program number. N1 is first block. Here, some codes we give for making the machine ready for new job. So G17 is code for plane selection. G19 is code for absolute programming mode. G40 is cancellation of cutter compensation. And G8 is cancellation of or deactivation of pre previous can cycle. N2 in N2 block, this is auto referencing of machine to the Z axis. So we send machine to the reference point for Z axis. N3 is the block where auto referencing of machine to X and Y axis is done. So G91 and G28, this is, these are the cores for sending machine to the reference point for X and Y axis. In block number four, that is N4, G90, again G90 is code for absolute programming mode. G54 is work offset number. So this work offset number is important. Uh, work offset defines the relation between job zero point and machine zero point. So distance of job zero point from machine zero point in X, Y and Z axis are defined in this register G54. So G54 is work offset number. N5 is the block where tool call is done. So M6 means tool call, tool change. So tool number 15 is called in this block. Uh, so in, in spindle, the new tool is loaded by code M6. T15 means tool number 15. In N6 call, in N6 block, uh, we have positioned the drill or tool to the center point of hole, first hole in X and Y axis but sufficient distance away from the job face that is 100 mm away from job face. At the same time, we have started the spindle with speed of 1500 RPM. M03 means spindle rotation clockwise. Then next block, here we have compensated the tool length. G43 is tool length compensation activation. Here, 
एच फिफ्टीन मीन्स टू लेंथ इज गिवन इज रजिस्टर अगेंस्ट फिफ्टीन नंबर सो वी हैव यूज टूल नंबर फिफ्टीन सो एच फिफ्टीन इज टू लेंथ कॉम्पेंसेशन फॉर द टूल नंबर फिफ्टीन एट द सेम टाइम वी हैव स्टार्टेड द उलंट मोटार नाउ इन दिस ब्लॉक ब्लॉक नंबर एट वी हैव कॉल्ड जी एटी वन साइकिल जी एटी वन साइकिल इज वन लाइन प्रोग्राम एक्स ट्वेंटी एंड वाई ट्वेंटी आर द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ सेंटर पॉइंट ऑफ फर्स्ट होल जेड माइनस इलेवन इज द डेप्थ ऑफ होल एक्चुअली थिकनेस ऑफ प्लेट इज एट एम एम बट वी हैव टेकन डेप्थ एज इलेवन एम टू अवॉइड द टेपर पोर्शन ऑफ द ड्रिल आर फाइव इज आर लेवल डिफिनेशन सो टूल विल पोजिशन फाइव एम एम अवे फ्रॉम द जॉब फेस एंड टूल विल कम हियर एट रेपिड फीड रेट एफ इज द प्रोग्राम फीड रेट दिस इज गिवन इन एम एम पर मिनिट एन नाइन इज झीरो पॉइंट कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ सेंटर पॉइंट ऑफ सेकंड होल दैट इज एक्स एटी एंड वाय ट्वेंटी in block number 8 we have defined all the parameters of g81 cycle and we have used code g99 means every time after completion of drilling tool will come to r level not to z level or initial level so g99 is code for uh, sending the tool to the r level in the block number 9 again we need not repeat all the parameters of g81 cycle here only we have to give coordinate of center point of second hole in block number 10 we have given coordinate of center point of third hole and in block number 12 we have given coordinates of center point of fourth hole but here we have given code g98 that means after completion of drilling operation drill will go to the initial level that is g98 level that is 100 mm away from the job face in block number 12 we have cancelled the current can cycle so all parameters of current can cycle g81 are cancelled in block number 13 we have sent the machine to the reference point for z axis so auto referencing of z axis reference point return is defined here at the same time we have stopped the coolant motor m09 is called for stopping the coolant motor in n14 block number 14 we have used two codes one is cancellation of uh, this is a g90 means absolute program programming mode so absolute programming mode is activated and g40 is cancellation of cutter compensation this is for safety and last block that is block number 15 is m30 means end of the program for funnel control so this is how programming for cycle g81 is done friends thank you very much for viewing the entire video you can like this video and subscribe this channel once again thank you